What's up guys? It's Dave. Welcome to Spectrum DIY. thought today I would show you how to make a PCB from scratch. And how I'm going to do so is pretty basic, pretty easy, but I do need a mixer board. And so I thought I would make it from scratch and show you guys how to do it. It does apply to the VCO that I made. So if you were wondering how I made us did it the same way. Uh, the only thing I can say is this is the way I do it. Uh, again, I'm very new, so your mileage may vary. <laughs> so, uh, but if you want to know how I did it, you want to see how I did it, this is, this is it. So uh, come over to KeyCAD and I want to make a new project. We'll call this one, let's see, we'll go up to my KeyCAD folder. We'll call this Mixer. And unoriginally call it Mixer. On the schematic file, we need an op amp. So let's place a symbol that's over here on the right hand side. There we go. Now, for me, I use an op amp called a TLO72, so we can just type that in. If we hit plus, we'll type unit A. I'm gonna hit OK. We'll scroll down here and we will put in the unit A. Now, because I'm, this is a dual op amp, it has one, two, three, and then pins four, five, and six. So you'll click here again and click unit B. So we'll place another symbol and this will be unit C, which is the power for it. And we shall put that just down there for right now. There we go. So we'll do it that way. And this can just sit there. Now, our schematic is really straightforward, is really easy. Resistor. Derper, derper, derp. All right, so we have a resistor. We got, let's put a capacitor while we're at it. There we go. We'll put this here. Now we have our schematic. We have our mixer ready to go. So now we're going to go to PCB new and lay out our PCB. Update PCB from schematic, update PCB. It's gonna throw our, all of our components here and we'll just drop those for right now. First, we'll turn off the rat's nest. We'll go to edge cuts. And I know that I want a five millimeter edge cut. So I go up five millimeters and make one corner. And then I can hit control D to copy it and drag it straight over along this line. Now, here comes the part that I do not like. The outlines and such. So we'll grab in this corner, the ground plane back copper. There we go. We now have a ground plane. And from here, we can hide this ground plane. Go to the back copper, run traces. We want them 0.25s decent enough. Now we turn the rat's nest back on and we start running our rat's nest. All right, now this is gonna be a single layer board. All right, so we like the way this looks. So with our transparency paper loaded, we'll hit print and hit okay. And now it's gonna be printing out on our page to show you what that looks like. We now have a printed PCB. All right, so the trick here, now I've got to Cool. 
not with this. It no, it says latex and powder free. All right, so we put a little bit of acid here, not much, just that little bit. Well, this comes in. A so now I got my PCB that I'm ready to etch. And for this, I grab a corner. You just dip this in. And it'll get to work on the exposed copper right away. In fact, you can tell where it's worked because it'll be pink. Can you see where it's turning pink already? And you, this, the light behind it helps you tell where to focus your sponge. So you don't like over it. All right, <clears throat> give me one moment. Time we go. Alrighty. So now that that's rinsed off. Now what we do, fast enough. So, round and around and around we go. I'm showing the main camera first. Now, if we wanted to go so far, all right, we got our, I'm on, I'm recording now, so I'm gonna be a little kind of weird for a second, or silent for a second. Now, now that is a silk screen and worth it to have gone back and done it twice. Cool. Do it this way. Just because Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So cheers for stopping by. Hope you have a good one.